Time now for the morning rush. Legal action is being threatened against the city of Albuquerque over their plans to build on the open space. The nonprofit Save the Elena Gallego Citizen Committee says the lawsuit is meant to stop the city from building an educational center. Organization, the organization argues the plan would be directly violating an agreement from 1982 that prohibits development in the area. A 17-year-old is in custody after police say he shot and killed his mother's boyfriend. Police say Saturday afternoon, Ruben Benavides and his father went to La Tierra Apartments where Garcia Guzman lived. Police say that that's where Benavides shot Guzman, who died. Benavides is now being charged with an open count of murder and tampering with evidence. Police are still investigating what may have led up to a deadly shooting. APD says they responded to a shot spotter activation and a 911 call at a house party near Pat Hurley Park early Sunday morning. A woman at the party had been shot and later died. Police have not said if any arrests have been made or if there are any suspects. Zoe. And we are looking at a really nice afternoon ahead of us after some rain and snow fell across the south yesterday. Temperatures today will be in the mid to upper 40s. Plenty of sunshine, very seasonable for this time of year. Stephanie. Hundreds of lives will be saved thanks to a record setting attempt at collecting donations. 148 people signed up for yesterday's blood drive at UNM Student Union Building. In eight hours, they collected at least 125 units of blood that they say will save 375 lives. Last minute shoppers are finishing off their list with an Albuquerque tradition. The sixth annual Last Minute Navidad Mercado was put on by El Cante, a community space dedicated to local art and culture. Attendees also got to check out food, a photo booth, and music. The village of Mora and Mora County are working on a memorial to honor the men and women in the area who have served our country. For the past year and a half, the Mora Veterans Memorial Committee has been working on putting together the memorial. Garcia says once they get the design finalized, they will break ground on the project in the next few months. Zoe. For our Metro Threat Index, really nothing to worry about today besides bundling up early this morning from the cold, but by the afternoon, plenty of sunshine and very seasonable conditions. Today, we will get our first preview of the much-anticipated findings from the House Committee investigating the January 6th attack. The House Committee is expected to formally adopt its final report and vote on possible criminal referrals. It concludes the panel's months-long probe. Title 42, an immigration policy that allowed the government to turn away migrants to protect public health during the pandemic, is set to expire this week. The Biden administration released a plan for the scheduled lifting of Title 42. It includes adding more resources to the border and warns of legal consequences for those crossing unlawfully. Zoe. Well, traffic maps are looking nice and clear this morning for our early Monday morning commute. Really nothing to worry about traffic wise as Tracker is currently heading southbound near the Big Eye. And again, nothing to worry about besides enjoying that sunrise. Amtrak is introducing its modern, more fuel efficient and more environmentally friendly next generation fleet of trains, Amtrak Aero. The new train cars include more spacious seating and panoramic windows. The trains are expected to debut in 2026. We are looking at on this day back in 2011, blizzard conditions were seen across northeastern New Mexico. Up to two feet of snow fell and 60 mile an hour wind gusts caused snow drifts to get anywhere from eight to 10 feet tall in some locations. And now it's time for today's five facts. At number five, you could soon see a very unique vehicle driving around Albuquerque. Courtney Ballou, the owner of Skatamania near I-40 in Juan Tavo, has a new ride. This roller skate car is one of only 16 ever made back in the 1970s. Now it's rolled into Albuquerque and it is here to stay. It's not just good advertisement for the roller rink. For Ballou, there is something special behind it. His father, who built Roller King back in the 80s, had a vehicle just like this growing up. At number four, hundreds of lives will be saved thanks to a record-setting attempt at collecting donations. 148 people signed up for yesterday's blood drive at UNM Student Union Building. In eight hours, they collected at least 125 units of blood. That, they say, will save 375 lives. They were trying to break the record for most units donated in New Mexico. The record currently sits at 147 units. Now officials are still working on a final count of just how many units were donated. And at number three, it's going to be a lot nicer of a day today compared to yesterday. Warmer conditions across the south, plenty of sunshine all across the state. You might notice a bit of a bit of a breeze, though, to the east of the central mountain chain. And number two, more than a dozen people are filing a lawsuit against the city meant to stop the city from building an educational center in the Elena Gallegos open space. The educational center would be built specifically in the Pino Trail or the Cottonwood Springs Trailhead. 
The grassroots organization says if the city moves forward with the educational center, it would be directly violating an agreement from 1982 that prohibits development in the area. And at number one, a 17 year old is in custody after police say he shot and killed his mother's boyfriend Saturday near downtown Albuquerque. The shooting resulted in a SWAT situation that lasted hours near Cole and 11th. Police say Saturday afternoon, Ruben Benavides and his father went to La Tierra Apartments where Garcia Guzman lived. They kicked, on the, kicked down the door of the apartment where his mom and Garcia Guzman were in, where Benavides shot Garcia Guzman, who died. At around 1 a.m. Sunday, APD SWAT team was activated where they arrested Benavides without in incident. He's being charged with an open count of murder and tampering with evidence.